What? Sooner than expected. Yes, right. What's up? All right. know what the deal is bro give that thumbs up thumbs up click that like button all right <coughs> the nintendo switch pro rumors have been crazy this year and we're not even a week into the year yet i reported yesterday on the specs of the switch pro you can watch that video but also within that same report by digitimes they've corroborated and given us a more exact window of the launch date the release date of the switch pro now it all started dr sir cantoto um he was um interviewed and he gave his speculations he said that he was sure nintendo's coming out with the switch pro but then digital times they did their own investigative reporting and this is what they've said concerning the date. June, tw not June, mid-2020. We're going to talk about that. That falls right in line with what um, the um, industry analysts had already said. And they're saying production is starting quarter one. The first quarter of 2020 is when the product will go into production. That's March. They said at the end of um, the first quarter 2020, the Switch, the new model of the Nintendo Switch will begin volume production. Volume production. That means there's probably concepts floating around, but volume production begins first quarter 2020. That's March. Bro, Nintendo's E3 is about to be litty. If this is what they announce at E3, because usually when Nintendo announces their hardware, it's a short turnover to, for by the time it launches. I remember um, even the Switch reveal was in October. It launched in March. They reveal it in June, though, because the Switch family of systems is already out there on the market. I remember when they did the 3DS. They uh, they um like the new 3DS, one of the models. Excel something the more powerful one they announced it then like a month later it was on the market <laughs> and so don't expect Nintendo is going to be very quiet the first half of this year then June E3 Bowser walks on stage pulls out switch pro aluminum um, metal alloy um, faster CPU is already reported I talked about that in my last video it's coming out next month boy bro it's gonna be a wrap now it's not gonna be a wrap for so sony is gonna be all right playstation is gonna sell the big question mark next gen i think is gonna be xbox as as much as i like my xbox i think they're the company if anybody's gonna go third party they'll probably do it before anybody else just because they are very liberal we're putting their games on every system bro They'll, they'll put it on the PlayStation 4 if Sony allowed it. Um, they already got their games on the Switch. Everything on the P on, you could play on your Xbox. You could pretty much play on your PC. And so they could go third party and still be just fine. They got Microsoft Game Studios. They have their subscription services. So I think they're going to be all right too. So everybody's going to be fine. But <laughs> Nintendo will overshadow and continue to sell Switch systems at a great rate. I like what Nintendo's doing this generation. Last, the Wii U, in my opinion, should have been a Wii family of systems, not a next-gen console for Nintendo. If Nintendo would have capitalized on the Wii's popularity in its prime 
and then launch the Wii U as it's still within the Wii family of systems, but just like a Wii Pro, if they were to change it to like Wii Pro instead of a Wii U, Wii U is such an arbitrary name. If they change it to like the Wii Pro and launched it when the Wii was still selling hot, the Wii U would have been a different story, bro. It would have been a different story with the Wii U, but Nintendo waited too long to launch the Wii U. Nintendo is doing everything right. They learn from their mistakes. Launch a more powerful system while your current system is still hot. So the momentum keep keep going. And so even if dudes don't pick up the um, Wii U Pro, whatever it's going to be called, at the rate Nintendo wants, so what? The, I mean, the Switch at the rate they want, so what? The Switch is still selling good. And so... Um, Mid, mid, mark your calendars for mid 2020 for the release date of the Switch Pro. And bro, if Nintendo announces with the Switch Pro, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, they're going to kill it. They're going to kill it again this year. I think they're going to kill it regardless, but this is going to just be icing on the cake. Breath of the Wild was the game of the generation in my opinion the best game this generation the game was so lit and what if bro where is pikmin 4 nintendo launch if they launch it with breath of the wild 2 pikmin 4 oh man nintendo fans will go crazy bro because nintendo still has ips they haven't put out on the switch yet and i think the most the biggest omission next to metroid of course i don't think metroid is coming out this year forget about that Pikmin, bro. A Pikmin game. All right. Next news item. Platinum Games. Platinum Games has just announced that they've partnered with Tencent. For those of you who don't know, Tencent is the video game giant, bro. They own Fortnite. They own your favorite video game that you don't even know. Tencent owns everything. There's a Chinese company that just swallows up companies. But... With a partnership with Tencent, Platinum Games made it clear that they are still keeping their independence and they're still going to continue under their own, their current corporate structure. But I tell you this, Tencent has invested into the company. Yeah, that's good talk, um, Platinum Games, that we're still going to be able to do anything we want. Nah, bro. Not when they put millions and millions of dollars into your company. Uh-uh. You still... They're going to have some say-so in your operations, despite of what they say. Um, Tencent has some kind of involvement with Platinum Games now that they invested money into the company. So things are going to be interesting. All right, dudes. Um, those are the fire news items for this video. What do you guys think about the Switch Pro release date, bro? Mid-2020. I think that's perfect knowing that sony and microsoft are going to launch their hardware at the end of the year and this pro N nintendo switch pro isn't going to be as powerful more than likely nintendo's still going to have that spotlight on their on their um hardware i think it's a good move by nintendo sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out. Speaking of Platinum Games, when is Bayonetta 3 launching? Come on, Platinum! You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right, we're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at obi one Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways, but that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime, you can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join,
patreon.com backslash obi1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description see you later peace